A lot of people just glued to the phones today, right? Refresh, 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 constantly checking to see if a winner has been declared in any of the states in this presidential race. If it's making you feel anxious, well, you are certainly not alone. Perhaps our anxiety is what unites a divided country today. Latasha Givens is live on the 17th Street offering some tips about how to ease. I think everyone's nerves are a little bit frazzled here, Latasha. That's right, Cheryl, and you can see that anxiety when you look on social media, but I talked to a therapist who says for the first time she's actually had to counsel people on the level of stress this election cycle has brought them. But the good news is there are some things you can do right now to start moving forward. This entire election cycle is not so much about casting a ballot, right? Therapist Leah Chapman Mills says there is a level of fear on all sides that their voices may not be heard or their beliefs respected. And the anticipation is really a mask, right? Underneath all of that is just fear. This is the real life rendition of waiting to exhale. The whole nation is collectively uh, looking to see in great anticipation Will their votes matter? Mills Chapman says if you were up all night watching the election results come in, if you've been fighting on Facebook or just pacing back and forth in your home, it's all normal. People again are functioning from an emotional part of their brain instead of looking at it from their thinking brain or the cognitive brain. Their trauma brain is activated, which means that their fight or flight responses are kicking in. She says even some physical pain is normal too. Many may also have what we call somatic symptoms or symptoms that's within the body. Um, they may find that they are having headaches. They may find that they may actually have physical aches within their body. But Chapman Mills says there are five things you can do today to start feeling better. First, limit your media engagement. Watch and read things at specific times, not for hours at a time. Second, do something today that you enjoy. Even if you don't think it will be fun, just do it. Three, give yourself grace for how you feel. It's probably normal. Four, get out of the house even if it's for a short time. Sunlight and fresh air can have a positive effect on your physical well-being. And five, enjoy the people you have in your life. Allow them to have a greater impact over you than strangers. Feelings, they don't last forever, which means that moments don't last forever. This election is not, or the cycle of this election will not last forever. And, and Chapman says, just remember people before politics and just be kind to one another. Back to you. All right.